What's going on guys? Curtis, that Turbo Dakota. So, on this episode, I have some new parts for the truck. So we're gonna talk about them and then I'm gonna fill them in. We're gonna see what happens. But before that, I'm gonna throw a quick clip in here of me playing around with some uh, added weight in the truck and the corner scales. Um, just something I thought was uh, kinda cool and I wanted to show you. So watch that real quick and we'll be right back. Hey, what's going on guys? Curtis, that Turbo Dakota. So I'm in the garage and I borrowed the Proform wireless scales from my buddy. And I kind of just decided to videotape this. Again, a lot of the stuff you see on here, you guys are learning with me and you're kind of seeing, you know, this thing as it, you know, turns into whatever it turns into. So I figured I'd show you. Um, I got on Facebook Marketplace and I picked up some of these weights. They're actually from a weight machine. They're 10 pounds each and then they have spots for like rods. Um, so I kind of want to play around with ballast weight. Now, right now, the truck actually has a full tank um, of fuel in the cell in the back, which is the first time I think I filled it all the way. So I want to scale it to just get an idea of what the bias is. And I'll turn the camera around and show you real quick. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add, that's 100 pounds, and we're going to add that to the back corner, and then we're going to look at it again as I'm just curious to see how far we can get the bias you know I, I really don't want to add weight but you know it might work out for the best if it gets a 60 foot down far enough that it makes up for the fact that weight was added then i'd say that's a win but again we're just experimenting trying different things so let me flip the camera and show you what we're currently looking at okay here's what i got this is with a full tank of fuel sitting on the scales i raised the truck off the scales i zeroed i let it back down so 29.3 it looks like it went up just a, a hair, 28.2. Um, so roughly, like I said, it did look like it settled a bit. So this is actually 0.2 right here, so which makes this a, a five. But anyway, you get the description. So here is our front end weight bias. So right now, 57% on the nose. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this weight to the back of the truck. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna see how much that bias has changed. So hold on one second. Okay, minutes later, 100 pounds is added, which is fairly accurate. So here's what I came up with. So if you work out the math, so here's what it is with a full fuel cell and 100 pounds in the bed, we bring the front end down to 55% bias. So remember, um, we actually started at something like this is as 60 percent uh, on the nose that is a massive jump uh so i mean I, I like it i think i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is i will make some plates that i'll nut cert to the bed of the truck and then i'll put those weights i'll actually have uh rod welded so it'll sit within it rod so you can drop the plates down on it um, and then we'll put a bolt across top of the rod to keep it from coming up. And then I can pull them out and stick them back in at my leisure. So I have to get some material and we'll weld it out. But yeah, I mean, that's a massive difference. Now, obviously it, it uh, you know, the weight of this thing came up substantially. But again, it's one of those things where when we get back and we get to do some testing, we'll figure out is, you know, is the juice worth the squeeze, you know, kind of deal. But I just want to throw that in there um leave your comments questions concerns in the bottom uh if any of you guys are by happen to see this your heavy drag racers tell me what you think uh so on to the next thing all right so 55 percent on the nose not too bad not too bad at all okay so right here i have a blue box and inside this blue box is a set of 1000 cc injectors from fic so this is kind of the last piece to the puzzle as far as our E85 adventure. So I'm excited about this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these things up. I'll flip the camera around, we'll look at them real quick. And then I'm going to throw them in and chase himself in the tune. We'll see if we can get this thing to start. All right, so FIC 1000s, EV6 plug, should be a direct drop in for the truck. Um, these are very nice. They can run with any type of fuel, including E85, so this is this is the last piece to the puzzle as far as the fuel system goes. Um, they will support more than enough horsepower for this truck in its current state. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pop the 60 pounds out, throw the new set in very carefully. 
uh, load a tune up in it or change some settings in the tune up, I should say. And uh, we're gonna get this thing fired up. Okay, so, hey, let me zoom out. So that was easy, right? No big deal. Um, I will tell you, when you guys work on your injectors, I just use a Vaseline. You can get it pretty much anywhere at the grocery store. We're gonna use a liberal amount on both the seals. And then as we put those injectors in, we'll take and roll them over, or roll them in nice and slow and put a little pressure on them. And they should jump right in there. You need to be very, very careful that you do not clip any of these seals going in. Um, it's obviously long-term, you know, you don't want to cause any kind of leak or any kind of fire. Uh, I've got high protect rails in this truck. Uh, they're Dash 8, so it's just the two center bolts out and uh, put some bunch of rags in there to try to keep the fuel from going everywhere, and they just swap out. Um, so, yeah, easy enough. But, yeah, what I've been running all these years, these are 60 pound an hour. I think they're like 630 cc. Uh, Siemens Decas, no issues with them. Obviously, the truck survived for the last seven or eight years turbo with those in it. Um, you can typically get them at a reasonable price. So, yeah. So, let me finish the side, do the other side, and then uh, we'll talk about settings inside the Holly. And through the miracle of modern technology. All right, FIC 1000s are in the truck. Here is the tried and true 60 pound. So I've already checked uh, for leaks. I run the fuel the key, cycle key a bunch. Got a bunch of fuel pressure in it. I still have the connectors off. So I got to go in the cab. We got to tell the Holly what injectors we're using. And um, then once we do that, I think I might, I haven't decided. I thought about doing a quick boost leak check on it just to make sure the bottom rings aren't working. Um, in fact, I still might do that. So I'll probably do that real quick. And then, yeah, so the next clip you guys will see is hopefully, fingers crossed, this thing's running. Okay, all our injectors are plugged back in. We took a Holly and updated it with the new injector information. Let's see, uh, I'm going to calm up real quick. There, so it's ready to go. Give this thing a crank, see what happens. Uh oh. So. Before I start making changes, I'm gonna put my boost leak checker on this thing, and we'll just uh, we'll check it for vacuum leaks. Um, I'm not sure. I'm using volume extra efficiency VE fuel base, so I kind of figured just by changing the injectors, there wouldn't be a lot of fuss around. I have to do with it, uh, but I could be wrong. Um, so we'll just kind of take that as it comes to the main map. But I am going to go ahead and throw that guy on there real quick. Check for leaks. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll, I'll let you know what I find, if I find anything. Okay, um, made some global fuel changes to the table. Uh, another thing I want to show you guys, so I have a map, because I'm running a flex fuel sensor in this thing. So this map right here is basically the more ethanol percentage uh, content it sees, it will actually offset the fuel, so like roughly you know, methanol needs like, I'm sorry, E85 ethanol needs about 37% more uh, fuel. So that's a uh, sloppy mechanics mat thing uh, that he's posted all over the internet. So shout out to him. Uh, if you don't watch him, you should. But uh, so I whipped that up using his settings real quick, made some global changes. Uh, let's see how this thing starts. Pretty good. I'm happy with that. Um, also news too, it revs up. I feel
feel like it revs up faster. It could be in my head. It just it felt fairly crisp um, on just like a free rev. So yeah, uh, it looks like it's. pretty good it could be better I always struggle with acceleration and enrichment stuff um, but yeah I think I'm gonna leave it I'll leave it right there I think that's pretty good guys well I'm happy with that um, I did not have any leaks by the way if you're curious, there was no leaks out of my Amazon Boost Leak Checker. So that's cool. So that's exciting. So pick this up, put it back. These guys have lived a long, long life. All right. So what does that mean? So what that means is once I run all this 93 octane out of the truck, well, we're going to put it first tank of E85. Luckily for me, there's at least two E85 uh, pumps here where I live. So that's kind of cool, and, then, and actually the one's really, really close. So we're going to put E85, and then we're going to get this thing on the dyno um, and see what we can do. Maybe turn it up to 14, 15 pounds and uh, see, see kind of what it does. Um, I don't know. We'll see. But until next time, thank you for watching. Uh, coming up, I got a big project just got into. The next video, we'll go into that. We'll kind of talk about that. Um, just something a little bit different. Uh, still has a turbo, so that's good news. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.